The Sixers pick up another win in their preseason finale, but most importantly, Joel Embiid returns. We'll talk about how he looked and a couple other Sixers standouts all here on Philly Take with RB. What is up, everybody? RB here. Welcome into the show. You know the drill by now. Hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Drop a comment for the algo. Turn on the noties. Don't miss any of the coverage. We are finally about to get back into full season swing. I cannot wait. We were live last night. Our play-by-play show, our staple show for the preseason. We had over a couple hundred people. You guys were amazing. We will be rocking out all year long. Come join us live every single Sixers game right here on YouTube. Post-game coverage as well. We will be breaking all of it down. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get back into the groove of it, man. But anyway, the Sixers pick up a win against the Atlanta Hawks. Joel Embiid returned. We'll talk about what he said, how he looked in the game, and a couple other guys who I really think are going to make a positive impact here in Nick Nurse's system. So we'll break it down. But I have a question for the people out there. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the most confident, 1 not being confident at all, how confident are you now that the preseason is over? Obviously, James Harden situation is still ongoing, but how confident are you in this Sixers team as a whole beginning the NBA season? We'll be live next week, Sixers Bucks Thursday night, but give me your confidence level 1 to 10 down below in the comments. And before we jump into it, a shout out to our sponsor of today's video. Shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. The NFL is finally back. We're in the groove of the season and the NBA is right around the corner. So there's no better place to join in on the action than DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL and NBA. And right now, any customers who download the DraftKings app, sign up and use my promo code Philly Take and bet $5 on any wager will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. And if you want a shot at an even bigger payout, you can use your $200 in bonus bets on a same game parlay to combine multiple bets from the same game or... You could just parlay a few teams that you're really confident will get the W this week. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect time to get some skin in the game. Go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And once again, new users who use my promo code PhillyTake and bet $5 on any wager will instantly receive $200 in bonus bets. This video is brought to you by DraftKings. Shout out to them for partnering. All right, man, let's jump into it. So, the Sixers get it done 120 106. This was a tale of two halves. We get a lot of those throughout the year, obviously, with this Sixers team. But uh, the Sixers went out early in this game. They were turning the ball over, they were sloppy. They did not look polished at all. To be honest, Joel Embiid looked very, very uncomfortable. I'm not going to sit here and say he had a good game. I don't think he did, but he certainly flipped the tide from the first half. I think he was like 0 for 6 in the first half. He could not get his shots. He just didn't look right now. You know, obviously a huge part of that is the rust factor. And, you know, that makes me question why didn't he play more preseason games? But again, Nick Nurse constantly relayed the message that it's about the training staff. It's about you know, how they can get him in shape and and how his body's feeling. So I can't really argue with that. Uh, But he did look very uncomfortable. However, in that third quarter, he started to pick it up. A couple other Sixers really, really stepped up. Uh, The Sixers held Trey Young in this game to five for 16. That definitely sticks out to me. And it's really uh, in part due to one reason, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But other than that, you didn't really let anybody else get going for the Hawks. Again, they jumped out to an early lead. They were up 17 at one point. And the Sixers come all the way back and get it done. Joel Embiid finishes in this game with a very weird stat line. 21 points, 3 for 12, 14 for 15 from the line, though, right? They couldn't stop him. They couldn't hack him. He had Trey Young out there flopping. He literally got called at one point for the new rule. Two blocks, five rebounds, an assist, a steal. I have no worries that Joel Embiid will get back into rhythm. He was just missing some of those light touches, but... It was good to finally see him in action in the Nick Nurse system. The one thing that stuck out to me from this game, uh, this was really finally the one that I was kind of, you know, looking more in depth at with Joel Embiid here because that's how this offense will be played, obviously. But, man, the the ball movement is crazy. I mean, the the way these guys are moving, backdoor cuts, off-ball screens, flares, all of it. Like, they're just, they don't stop moving. And it's actually nice to see a basketball product like that. And it's, you know, full credit to Nick Nurse. I mean, he's doing his thing. Tobias had 11 in this game, Maxi with 15, but how about 12 assists? Essentially a career high. Obviously, it doesn't count preseason, but 
12 assists. They said Tyrese couldn't be a playmaker. I told you, put the ball in his hands. He's going to make things happen. All-star leap incoming for Tyrese Maxey. I said it, I'll say it again. And really, the star of this game was DeAnthony freaking Melton, 29 points. He was money Melton last night. Oubre with another 11 off the bench. You know my thoughts on that by now. He should be starting at this point. I would absolutely start him over zero point P.J. Tucker. Yeah, he had six rebounds and assists to steal, but P.J. looking the same as last year. Now, also a couple moves after the game, the Sixers go out and they wave Ricky Council. They wave David Duke Jr. A little bit surprised about the Ricky Council one. I guess this means they're going to probably convert another contract to a two-way. Um, I'm surprised they got rid of Ricky Council. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't going to like that. Obviously, his basketball skills weren't as polished, but the athleticism was there. Probably the ability to grow, right, and nurture in this system or even in the G League was maybe there. And so I'm kind of surprised that they got rid of him. But we'll have to see the uh, subsequent moves, right? I think in a couple days is when the rosters come out. Um, we'll talk about those final cuts, et cetera. But uh, Joel Embiid talked after the game. He said, I think I've always wanted to play that way in terms of Nick Nurse's system. I never liked being an ISO player. I don't think that's the right way to play, and I don't think that's the right way to win. So I like the system. That's essentially mirroring what he said a couple weeks ago in the media day. But yeah, I mean, again, there was just a lot of ball movement. Guys were just, you know, they were flying around the floor and one thing I'm big on is, you know, using your defense to create more offense. Obviously, you want to get some of those easy, not easy, but, you know, a, a lot less work put into some of those possessions, right? Because if you're going down and you got to work and you got to work and work every single possession down to two seconds on the shot clock and you really got to earn all those shots, uh, you know, it, it's going to take a toll on you, right? It's going to be hard, especially late in the game when you're tired out to get some of those buckets. So, I'm really big on creating, uh, you know, a lot of offense through your defense. And here's one example and a great play here by Tobias. As you can see, the Hawks up at the wing, they're going to throw it inside. Little cut, nice screen, but see how Tobias picks it up. This is going to be huge in the Nick Nurse system, right? Uh, help defense, but also trying to pick off some of these passes because you can never be content in this system. See how Tobias comes in, give me that, and then he's just going to create a much easier bucket there in transition. DeAnthony Melton all the way. So, uh, yeah, the Sixers are going to be menaces defensively. I really do believe that. I don't think we're going to see spurts, hopefully, not too often. I mean, it happens sometimes, but, you know, where this team goes absolutely dry and they can't even, you know, block anything or, or get any type of steal and they're just playing lazy on the defensive end. It just can't happen this year. Uh, Tyrese Maxey was money again. I talked about his playmaking in this game, but. I mean, he just looks so much more comfortable. I listened to a podcast recently uh, where he was talking and he just said, you know, I'm not hesitating at all this year. Like now that I know my role, now that I'm used to this, now that I'm four years in, like it comes to me, I don't care. I got it. I'm going out there playing like I'm a 29 year old, even though I'm not even 23 yet. And I got it. Look at this, man. He's going to give it. The, by the way, Furkan was in. Furkan finally played as well. Don't let that get lost in the wind. Look at Tyrese, man. Little sidestep. Boom. I mean, it is, this guy is going to be special, man. And if he can give you 10 assists a game, if he can finally get there this year, there's no reason he can't take that leap. Money. Money. His shot is absolute money. Tyrese Maxey, another pretty good game here tonight. Glad to see him back. The other guy, right? Because DeAnthony Melton had a huge game and, you know, he just hit all his shots. I think he was, what, 10 for 16. Uh, the Sixers at one point, like I said, were turning the ball over heavy. I think they had 13 in the first half. They only had seven the rest of the game. Uh, but that Maxi melton combo, I can just see the chemistry developing, right? Maxi puts a couple moves on his defender. Other defender bites in to help. Boom. DeAnthony Melton spot up. He's confident in his shot. He always has been uh, six for 10 from deep for DeAnthony Melton. But one other guy who is really, really, really stuck out. Honestly, the guy who I, I think his stock has improved the most here in the offseason and in the training camp is Jaden Springer. He finishes with six points on the night, two rebounds, an assist, and a steal. But it's what I'm seeing, and I can't believe I'm saying it, ladies and gentlemen, but a Sixers coach has finally forced a guy to improve a jump shot. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We look at all these defensive guys over the years, most recently the Simmons, the Thibels, but they can't shoot. They can't shoot. I was low on Jaden Springer because of 
how we've been scarred with these guys. And Jaden Springer comes out here. He has an actual polished jump shot. I saw it like three times last night. I've seen it every game and he can shoot. And most importantly here, he is still a menace defensively. Look how he's going to blow up these screens. He stays right on ball. I mean, you have a guy that can do that. So it's Thibault-esque. It's Thibault-esque. Look at that. Keeps his body in a, a good lateral position, and he just, he's balanced. He's balanced as a defender. Obviously, he has to work on not fouling as much, which I do think he's gotten better as. But look at that, man. He's forcing Trey into bad passes. I mean, this is Jaden Springer. What is he, 21 years old? And now he can shoot. Now he can shoot. It's crazy. Look at that. Look at that defense, man. Nick Nurse is going to feast with this guy. Nick Nurse is going to love Jaden Springer. Look at this. This is my favorite one. Comes around the screen. He's going to get right back. Pass that thing up. And he's going to switch. Boom. Stolen away. Jaden Springer, ladies and gentlemen, buy your stock now. I'm telling you that. I was low on him before, but I am now very high on Jaden Springer. Buy your stock. That's all I got in this game. I think this was more reminiscent of what we will see the Sixers team look like. But again, it's going to take time to mesh and to mold. But it's good to see Joel Embiid out there. Sure, it may be a little rocky. Obviously, they don't know what's going to happen with James Harden yet. But five days to go to the NBA season, they better figure something out. And uh, good to see this team pick up two wins in a row. Give me all your thoughts on this game in the preseason down below in the comments section. As always, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.